what mass of ice at minus 14 degrees centigrade will be needed to cool 200 cm cube of orange juice, essentially water, from 25 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade. Specific latent heat of fission of ice is what a 3.36 times 10 to 5 joules per kilogram. Specific capacity of water is equal to 4200 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Specific heat capacity of ice is equal to 2100 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. When the temperature of ice is raised from minus 14 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade, it's going to gain heat and the heat gain is going to be in three stages. Stage 1, the heat required to raise the temperature from minus 14 degrees centigrade to 0 degrees centigrade is going to be equal to mass of ice times specific capacity of ice times the temperature change that is 0 minus minus 14 degrees so that's going to be equal to so let me call that q1 so that's going to be equal to the mass of ice times specific capacity of ice that's 2100 joules per kilogram per kelvin times so minus times minus is plus so we have 14 and when we work that out that's going to be equal to 29,400 mi joules The heat gain when the ice melts at 0 degrees centigrade is going to be equal to the mass of ice times specific latent heat of ice. So that's going to be equal to mass of ice times specific latent of ice is 3.36 times 10 raised to power times 10 raised to power 5 joules, which is equal to 3.36 times 10 raised to the power 5 mi joules so this will be q2 so q2 is equal to mf third stage is to calculate the temperature rises from 0 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade so to call this q3 that will be equal to mass of ice times specific capacity of water because the liquid the ice has been turned to liquid now times the temperature change that is 10 minus 0 so this is going to be equal to mass of ice times specific capacity of water is 4200 times 10 minus 0 is 10 and this is going to be equal to 42000 mi joules the sum of q1 q2 and q3 is equal to the heat gained by the ice when the temperature increases from minus 10 degree 14 degrees centigrade through 0 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade so total heat gained is going to be equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 that's equal to q1 which is 29,400 mi plus q2 which is 3.36 times 10 to the power 5 mi plus q3 which is 42,000 mi And when you sum all of that together, that's going to be equal to 407,400 mi. To calculate the heat loss by the juice, we have to calculate the mass because we are only giving the volume. So to calculate the volume, we know that mass of juice is going to be equal to, so let me call that, mw the mass of water is going to be equal to density times volume so the density of water is one gram per cm cube times the volume given that is 200 cm cube and this will cancel out the when we multiply that together 
we have 200 grams. We have to convert that to kilogram by dividing by 1000. So we have 0 0.2 kilogram. Next, calculate the heat lost by juice when the temperature drops from 25 degrees centigrade to 10 degrees centigrade. So heat lost by juice is going to be equal to mass of juice. times the specific capacity of water times the temperature change that's 25 minus 10 degrees so that will be equal to the mass of water is 0 0.2 times the specific capacity 4200 times temperature to 25 minus 10 is 15 that will be equal to 12600 joules so by the conservation of energy, heat lost by juice is equal to heat gained by ice. Therefore, heat lost by water, that is 12,600 joules, is equal to the heat gained by ice, which is equal to 407,000 400 mi by making mi the subject of the formula the mass of ice is equal to 12600 divided by 407400 and on divided that the mass of ice is equal to 0 0.031 kilograms.